So hey everybody, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the single family house fix and flip uh, projects that we have going on. So the market is changing. Uh, I'm recording this on uh, May 9th, uh, 2022. And uh, as we all know, the market is changing and people are uncertain and we are going into a period of uncertainty. So the question is, how do we mitigate against sudden changes or a black swan event? Or if it's not a black swan event, just a, a changing market, which the market could change and is changing uh, quickly now that interest rates have really risen past 5%. And a lot of buyers are uh, have been knocked out of the market. Uh, their, their payment on an otherwise same priced home back in January could be three, four, five, six hundred dollars more a month uh, for the same priced home just because of the interest rate uh, change. Additionally, home prices keep going up. They're not going up as quickly as they were uh, last year, but they are appreciating. Uh, the big thing is that inventory is still very low, super low. And so the new home construction industry uh, is is quite active. And uh, so the, the one thing I keep in mind daily when I'm evaluating our deal flow and when to get into a project, I'm always evaluating the market. Where is the market going? What's it going to do? And a lot of new investors, what they do, and the only way they know to make a profit on homes is to uh, purchase and renovate and push the price up as high as they can in a, a in an appreciating market. And then when the market changed, they don't know how to, what to do. But, you know, we're experienced. We've been doing this for a long time. Uh, we've, we've always made profits in every market. When the market crashed in 2008, 9, and 10, uh, we worked with hedge funds, and there was a lot of money to be made in that downward market. And uh, so we know how to adjust in, in purchasing, and that is the key. If the market changes quickly, uh, we can we can delay uh, acquiring properties and see where it's really going if, if something changes drastically. Uh, so we mitigate against, um, against loss by, by doing that. We don't always have to uh, buy and sell today. Uh, we can delay our ac acquisitions in a volatile market to get a, give us a period of time for us to understand what the market is doing. And because we're in single family properties, we're in multiple properties simultaneously. So our properties are acquired at different points in time. So, uh, you know, as of today, we have a home under contract. We, we may have uh, more than one property in, in the renovation process, but they're at different stages of the renovation process. Some are just starting now. Uh, one, we're right in the middle of a huge project right now, and then we're at towards the ending stages or just about to list or have homes listed for sale on the market. And uh, we'll, we'll be closing on others in, in a couple of weeks. So we spread out the risk time-wise. All the capital is not deployed at one point in time in, in one deal, one massive deal. Uh, so uh, we don't, um, you know, we, we don't have that same risk uh, when the market changes. We can, uh, we can avoid risk and, and uh, never lose capital. That's, that's what we do. We never lose capital. And uh, we always get a great return on our investment. And worst case scenario, we don't get as big of a return as we originally planned when the market shifts, uh, but we still make, make a profit. And the key is buying right in the projected time period that you're going to renovate and resell a property. So I prefer to resell as quickly as possible. Purchase a property, renovate it as quickly as possible, put it up for sale, and sell it as quickly as possible. Uh, other investors have a different strategy or they're not able to uh, do the renovation as quickly as we can. Uh, every, everybody's different, but this is what we do well. And, uh, and then from time to time, we'll hold, um, you know, maybe five or 10% of the properties that we acquire every year as a rental property, but only those that really cash flow like crazy and, and do uh, exceed our minimal standard for ROI on our flipping uh, part of the business. 
so anyway, the, the main thing is I'm hearing from a lot of people that are just very concerned about the market. And uh, the market is going to change. Uh, we're able to adjust to those changes and adjust how we deploy capital and adjust the pricing that we, the negotiation that we have with sellers to get the prices of properties we acquire at a price that makes sense with the projected short-term market direction. So if you have any questions about this or want to connect with me or ask me any questions, uh, feel free to text me or email me or call me anytime. Thanks.